Welcome to Columbia Springs Hooked on Nature 2021, presented by Paul Montague Tax Preparation. We'll be starting off the evening with a performance from the Sears Summer Campers. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go! Join the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you got to love the energy of kids. Oh, my goodness. Oh, definitely fun. Good evening, everybody. I'm Paul Montague, and I want to welcome you to our 12th annual Hooked on Nature and our second annual virtual Hooked on Nature. Wherever you may be, we are so glad you're going to be able to join us tonight. And we may be virtual, but I know because we are all here, we care deeply about our environment and our community. So first things first, one, I hope you're all enjoying your dinner tonight, um, courtesy of Simply Time Catering. Tamara always does great food, so I hope you're enjoying your dinner. And then second, before we get going, make sure that you are logged into www.columbiasprings.org forward slash im dash hooked. This is mm -hmm. going to be where you'll be able to see everything that's going on, mm -hmm. as well as bid on all of your favorite silent auction items, and we're going to have a paddle raise. Mm -hmm. So, people ask me, why do I like Columbia Springs? Why do I support do Columbia like Springs? Paul? Well, I first learned about Columbia Springs about 10 years ago. Um, God, I don't know, 10, 11 ago. Um, Alicia Topper... Uh, was development director then, and she volunteered me <laughs> to be a dunk tank volunteer. And you said yes? And I said yes, unfortunately. <laughs> well, fortunately, because I'm uh, here today. And then the reason I've stayed around is I grew up, I, I had the good fortune to grow up in nature and grow up in the country. And so, you know, you get a lot of free time as a kid. So I wandered around and I got to experience nature a lot. And then the second thing is that in my hometown when I was growing up, we had a nature science center. And it was a place where you could go and learn about nature. You could actually do so much of mm -hmm. what we do here at Columbia Springs. So as we're going through tonight's program, I want you all to think about <clears throat> what is it that draws you to Columbia Springs and what's the value and what is it that hits your heart that mm. lets you be here tonight and support Columbia Springs? And think about that as you're going into your wallet and digging deep in support of Columbia Springs. Mm. 
So now let's get on to the program. Oh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you to Doug Quinn, who for the third year running from Clark Public Utilities has been co MC with me in running this program. Doug, hello. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate the, uh, the introduction. And again, our third year together, this is getting m more normal to be in a virtual setting. Uh, I wish you could be here and see the lights and the screens and the monitors. It's actually pretty cool <laughs> technology. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. And I'm sure you're uh, aware and, and open to this idea of what we're doing and supporting Columbia Springs. And this is your chance tonight to do that. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And Columbia Springs, one of our community's leaders in outdoor environmental education and preservation. It is unique. I don't think there's anything else like it in our county. Mm -mm. And no. quite honestly, the only reason it survives and is able to continue to do the amazing things it's, it does is because of the support of people like you tonight. So the things that they do that I love, oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Salmon in the Classroom, one of the finest programs uh, being associated with education myself. I love the idea that a fifth grader has the chance to actually have an aquarium in their classroom where they get to see the life cycle of yeah. the fish from egg on up. Uh -huh. And then at some point they get to release that fish into the wild. You can imagine how fun and how messy that is, oh, a few God, wet yeah. feet and hands. And then the idea that they release and then anticipate four years later a return, mm -hmm. uh, it's a wonderful way to spark uh, the idea of in the environment and mm -hmm. nature and fish. That's one of the best gifts. I oh love the program. Yes. Clark Public Utilities continues to support it, and I'm very proud of that. Um, it, it, it is something worthy of, yeah. of, uh, of a very deep emotion for me. And, and, and actually, I'd just say on behalf of uh, me and so many other supporters of Columbia Spring and our community, I really thank Clark Public Utilities for its continued support Thanks, of the programs at Columbia Springs. Thank you. So before we go, speaking of Clark Public Utilities and our sponsors, before we go much further, I really want to acknowledge our sponsors and table hosts who've made this evening possible. It's because of them that we are able to really everything you give tonight will go to Columbia Springs and support. So first off at, this, at the salmon level, I'd like to thank Johnson Bixby, Port of Vancouver, and Zoom, in, Zoom Info. And then at the rainbow trout level, I want to thank Clark Public Utilities. Again, thank you very much. Yes. And Waste Connections as a table sponsor tonight. Absolutely, Paul. And we have a few that I'd like to also mention. You being the first up, which is Paul Montague Tax Preparation Services. Paul is our presenting sponsor this evening. Thank you, Paul. My, my um, honor. Thank you. And we have with us also our Sturgeon sponsor, A and A, and our table sponsors, Dennis and Debbie, Debbie Campy, Columbia Credit Union, and Tidewater. Um, I think, um, I think yep. that's it. I think I got, I, I think got everybody yeah. on my list. So, uh, thank you. It is yeah. through their support that this event is made possible. It is. So it is. You. And it's, you know, it's it keep coming back to, and this is really tonight what we're about is we're about supporting Columbia Springs. And so, you know, when I think about Columbia Springs, um, you know, for me, it was first as a victim of a dunk tank. <laughs> but I look at what we do. I look at what Columbia Springs does with the kids around our community. I think I heard a figure somewhere that it's something like 5,000 kids, mm -hmm. 5,000 fifth graders. And, mm -hmm. and somebody will holler from off screen and correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's 5,000 fifth graders from Vancouver and uh, Evergreen, Evergreen School Districts mm -hmm. come through every year and they get to experience nature. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just... There is absolutely nothing better than that experience yeah. that's provided. I mean, you have wildlife, you have water features, mm -hmm. you have, at best of all, you have trout and salmon oh, God, yeah. all over the site yeah. where kids get to the... And, and I didn't, I just learned tonight, you, the best thing for me uh -huh. You get to feed the fish. Ah. You can throw food out into the water, and there's the boil of life oh, coming up 
to, to feed. What a, I that mean, I don't so know. Fun. I don't know a, any kid. I don't know, quite honestly, any grown person yes. who doesn't enjoy. Doing I never that experienced stuff. that growing up. But come in here; it's <laughs> yeah. great, and you don't have to spend any money. It's all free. Um, Columbia Springs. You know, if you look at it, I think about the summer programs that they've mm -hmm. got here. Um, a kids fishing fest, and and we'll probably come back to a lot of this tonight. Um, but just think about all of the different programs in essentially this wonderful natural setting that has been here for, God, what, the, oh. since the fishery hatchery was first opened in, yes. what, the 1930s, I believe. Those are old buildings. And, I know oh, that. I know. And so, so this is what it's about. So let's go on and move on. I did want to say one last thing, which is oh. the, the access to Columbia Springs. It is like a neighborhood park for mm -hmm. anybody that has an interest in it. And I encourage you... Come in and take advantage of the site, walk the site, see the property, enjoy the environment. It's a wonderful, open, natural place to play and bring your family. Yeah. Um, so I think, Paul, yeah. yes. we're about ready to, to uh, move on with a I video. I think we've got a video. I think we I do. Think we do. So if you would, please join us with this video and learn a little bit more about Columbia Springs. Every time I come here, I learn something new. Welcome to Columbia Springs. Our mission is to offer a unique setting and educational experiences that foster a greater awareness of the natural world and inspire stewardship. We help tens of thousands of children and their families to find belonging in and love for nature. Let's take a look at some of the programs and people that make this possible. Hi, I'm Jenna. I am on the education team here at Columbia Springs, and I am based out of the Swift classroom, so that's where my office is. But I manage the field trip program, so you might find me out on a trail or teaching a kid how to get some macroinvertebrates out of the wetland. Hi, I'm Shelly. You might find me on the trails with summer campers. I coordinate summer camp here at Columbia Springs. And the rest of the year, I work with the field trip program. So I'm often in Swift, and my office is upstairs in the visitor center. So come say hi. I'm April. I'm an education coordinator here at Columbia Springs, and I specialize in fun educational activities for families and our community. My name is Tara. I run the Repair Clark County program, and in that program, we fix people's broken stuff for free. Hi, I'm Katie Wolven, and I work with the Salmon in the Classroom program. I help teachers and students throughout the school year to raise salmon in their schools, and we release those salmon into local waterways at the end of the school year. You can find me in the Visitor Center. There's something for everyone at Columbia Springs. These are just a few ways we served our community this year. Oh, don't you love it, Doug? I do. It never ceases to amaze me how diverse Columbia Springs is and really what it has to offer our community. So right now I want to introduce live from Columbia Springs, our executive director, Catherine Corey. Kat? Thanks, Paul. The last year has been really challenging. We've had to collectively, as a global community, figure out how to operate during a pandemic. And that's been a major challenge for a lot of organizations, including ours. But Columbia Springs has found a way to adapt. We've even thrived, kind of like nature does. One of the opportunities over the last year has been to really take a step back and see how we can expand opportunities to serve you, to really make sure that everyone can access our site and our programming and that it's engaging and meaningful for all. We increase the number of weeks that we have for summer camp, keeping the same number of students overall, but allowing for socially distanced and safe programming. We expanded our repair program to do Repair Goes Remote on site, bridging the gap between conservation and repair so that people can see how their small actions of fixing an item 
impact the natural world. We've expanded our virtual presence to improve access so that anyone can access Columbia Springs at any time through their phone or in their living room and really enjoy what this site has to offer. One of the great things that has been able to continue over the last year, no matter anything else that's happened, is the ability for people to come and enjoy the site, which has remained open every single day. And it allows people to really not only be in touch with nature, but to be in touch with themselves. You know, nature provides an opportunity to shut out the noise from the outside world and to really just enjoy being present. It's startling to think that kids don't have that kind of connection to nature, that it's, it's so distanced. We have been able to provide that in this super unique urban landscape. And it's, it's more than just an urban forest. It's this very special, very magical place that allows people to really connect. Where even if it's just for an hour or a half hour and you're taking a quick stroll around the lake, you're doing something unstructured that is so rejuvenating. It's very uninhibited and, and uplifting. And you can't find that in very many places. The vision for Columbia Springs remains the same. It's to provide opportunity for anyone to enjoy nature and see themselves as a part of it. Through events like this one and fundraising and donating to us so that we can continue to provide excellent programming and to continue to maintain this absolutely beautiful site, you can help us with this vision. All right, well, thank you, Kat. And we're gonna have an opportunity for Kat to join us a little bit later on this evening. So now is really to the heart of the evening. There are a couple of different opportunities to invest in Columbia Springs mission this evening. Again, I hope you're all enjoying your uh, meals, but this is what it's all about. So first off, pull out your phone or your laptop or whatever, and make sure that you're signed in to Columbia Springs website. Now, the website, just one more time, it's www.columbiasprings.org forward slash im dash hooked. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to bid on all silent auction programs until noon on Sunday. And then we're also going to have a few items that are going to continue on until noon on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to have a chance to invest directly tonight with our um, paddle raise and silent auction. And then just anything. Well, Doug, is there anything you're interested in well, tonight? Well, there's several things I'm very interested mm -hmm. in. The, the Antigua vacation. Uh -huh. I, I did notice that was climbing up pretty quick, yeah, fairly, no. quick uh, fairly high. Um, but looks like there's some wonderful items there. I hope you have a chance. Look at the lives. Yeah. Look at look at the the, uh, the paddle rays and start thinking about your level, and then go one up from that. Oh. That's how I would do it. Oh God, yeah. Well, you know, I look <laughs> at it. There's um, let's see. There's a Panama vacation package, Palm Island Resort. Yes. Uh, Club Barbados. Oh. Did you see the chairs? Oh, wait, the wine the chairs. The wine chairs. You ought to check. You, you, please oh, okay. check them out. Yeah. They're a beautiful work. And they're M Michelle, uh, St. Michelle Vineyard barrel. So you have the elegance of their winery in some incredibly comfortable yeah. looking chairs. Oh, God, yeah. It's, Very I nice can't you can't really see it here. But those are cool looking chairs. So. Lots of stuff there for you. So lots of great items. And really, it's... Great items for any budget are available tonight in the silent auction. Again, ready uh, through tomorrow at noon or Wednesday at noon. So, um, so we're going to get started here in just a little bit yeah. on the uh, paddle raise. Yeah. But before we do that, I think we've got another video, don't we? I think we do have another video All this right. time. This time, I think we have. Um, well, let's just see what we have. I think yeah. it's a couple. Of, I think it's a couple think young it's... men that really touched my heart when I first saw. Oh, it. that's right. I think Please so. roll. Well, let's see. All right. My favorite memory of Columbia Springs has to be my very first time here. It was a jolt um, of discovery. I always learn something new, and I love the idea of 
of growing. I love the idea of working with other people who are passionate about being out in nature and sharing that love of nature. My favorite memory is just being with our grandchildren and having them see the joy in their face when they discover different things. We have a wide variety of, of waterfowl, not just the dabbling ducks like the mallards, but diving ducks like bufflehead, and then our herons, and we have Hank, our resident great blue heron, and cool birds. So many positive things. Meeting children who'd never been in the forest, even though they lived in Vancouver, and who when asked said they'd never dug in the dirt before or um, never looked at the water and seen the macro invertebrates. Um, and the parents and the staff and the teachers who hadn't done that either. Um, just seeing that aha in them was as, is really, really powerful. I've believed in reduce, reuse, recycle, the three R's and now repair, probably since the early 1970s. So when I saw this and what their goal was is to reduce uh, usable things that might need to be repaired and prevent them from going to the landfill, I, I thought I can really get behind this. The greatest moment in my life other than marrying my wife and the birth of my daughter is um, on March 23rd, 1970, when I became a U.S. citizen. Our family moved here. And I love seeing the American flag. It's everything to me. I've had a lot of stuff sewn on my coats. Army, uh, American flag, and I've got more. <laughs> I kind of feel guilty. Again, Haraj, again. <laughs> But um, that's where I'm going to bring some more stuff. I'm going to ask some more. Please sew on this American flag on, on, my, on my jacket. And when I wear it, I am extremely proud. And that makes me grateful for the person who sewed it on for me as well. This is a place to enjoy. And uh, people should take advantage of it. I think maybe even Washington State, it's one of the nicest places to go. I found my slice of heaven right, right outside my home. Oh. oh, God, I love it. All of the different stories that we hear about how Columbia Springs helps and supports people around the community. So I have the distinct pleasure of again introducing everybody to Catherine Corey, the Executive Director of Columbia Springs, who through the miracles of modern technology has teleported over from Columbia Springs and is right here joining us in the studio. Technology's so, great, isn't it? And it is wonderful. <laughs> so Kat, welcome. It is really wonderful to have you here tonight. It's great so, to be here. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me here. And yes. I want to talk a little bit about that community piece. You know, Columbia Springs is this place of community that is bigger than just our programming. Mm -hmm. It's a unique setting and it allows people to have that sense of place, mm -hmm. which is so yes. important, especially yes. now. In the last year, we've had that sense of belonging and that sense of feeling really whole has been really hard in mm -hmm. the pandemic. So it's been really great that people can come uh. and and feel relaxed and yes. just enjoy themselves. And you know, I think we have this opportunity to expand our programming in mm -hmm. ways that will continue to allow people to get that sense of place. Oh wow, so what kind of ways are you looking at expanding your programming to get that sense of place? Good question, mm -hmm. so we're working on expanding our summer camps and making them longer and improving our site, we're doing really strong restoration to make everything that is already beautiful at Columbia Springs even more beautiful. We've got a lot of ways to make it more accessible to everyone. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, so we're looking at summer camp, expanding that. Um, how about um, uh, either programs like Salmon in the Classroom or bringing, you know, expanding the outreach to our local fifth graders and yeah. looking at programs along those lines? We have this exciting opportunity this year to build up the Salmon in the Classroom program so that we actually have more students that we get to reach. We're putting more tanks in more classrooms despite that students are, you know, 
just getting back to that sense of normal. And I mm -hmm. think this program really helps them do that. They yeah. get to you know go back and teachers are excited and they get to see these tanks in their mm -hmm. classrooms and they're just thrilled. They're like, whoa, we get to raise fish again. Oh, very cool. God, so much fun. And I'll tell you, it's for me, watching some of the videos that I've seen of kids who, as they're taking these salmon that they've raised throughout the year and actually releasing them into the wild to watch their faces as they're doing this, a sense of wonder and joy is just really something that is, it, it's heartwarming to see that. So um, as far as the summer programs, uh, how are you expanding or looking to expand those coming up? So this summer, despite the pandemic, we actually offered more weeks of summer camp. And we did okay. that this year intentionally so that more kids could come mm -hmm. or the same amount that we would normally host yeah. in a non-pandemic year. That's really tough with COVID. It's been tough, but kids, are remarkably resilient. They wore their masks and they were just excited to be kids again. Oh, very cool. And so now we get to see, we practiced it this year. We get to have six weeks of summer camp. So now as we start returning back to normal, whatever that looks like, <laughs> we'll get to have more and more kids that can come back every year oh. to summer camp. Oh, very neat, very neat. So um, uh, one of the programs that um, has really seen growth, even in the midst of, um, uh, COVID is Repair Clark County. And how is that growing? Have you seen good growth with that so far this year? You know, Repair is one of those like underdog programs. Yeah. You know, it it empowers people to really do something mm -hmm. about the environment yeah. in a super easy way. Like, yes. you know, I have a broken hair dryer and instead of throwing it away and adding to a landfill and buying something new, which is, you know, hard mm -hmm. on resources, get to bring it in. And because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to do our normal community events. Mm -hmm. And instead we brought it to the site. So oh. now it's for people to see how it really impacts mm -hmm. on site and how it's yeah. part of what we do. It's not this auxiliary program. It's you know part of nature and how oh. somebody can be a good steward. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And um, God, what was, oh, this is one I've taken um, my stepsons to, and I believe years ago my daughter to, is Kids Fishing Fest. And, and we'll just sort of end on that one. Uh, just tell me about, so are we going to have it back? That we don't know. We're hoping. Okay. We are really okay. hoping. But you know, we want to keep everybody safe as we can. Yeah. And so we're going to try and find ways to do something really fun, mm -hmm. even if we can't do it in the same way we've always done it. Okay. Well, it's definitely, um, that's, like I said, that's one of my favorite ones every year. So is there um, anything you'd like to end with before we bring Doug back up and he and I start picking people's pockets? <laughs> You know, this event is a way for us to keep those kinds of programs still happening. Mm -hmm. yes. the, every donation we get tonight helps us with keeping all of our mission-driven programs running and to mm -hmm. help us make it more accessible to more and more people. Oh, very cool. Well, Kat, thank you very much thank for you. your leadership at, at Columbia Springs, and uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And so... Now, everybody, this is our chance to invest in Columbia Springs. This is the opportunity to ensure that we have the resources to continue offering the kind of educational programming that Columbia Springs has become known for over the years. Um, yeah, uh, this is the beginning of our first paddle level, yes. Paul. So please, please, have your phone available, be ready to make your bids, and I'm going to get started. And I know it sounds crazy, but why not start big? I'd love to see a $5,000 donation investment in Columbia Springs so we can continue this amazing work to kick off our evening. So I am asking you to think about and consider your $5,000 level and your giving to Columbia Springs where we can serve thousands of children in an outdoor school setting, a natural school setting. Oh, yes, unique, definitely. Unique, I, I believe this is a unique setting in Clark County. There is nothing else like this. Mm -hmm. And if people value that and getting kids back in touch with nature, yeah. 
this is a good this starting. Is, oh, this, this is a good is place to start for it's it. Very right easy here. to do. Just pull out your phone. Is that all you do? That's all you do. Pull out your phone and, and push the buttons. Or it's, your laptop. Or, or your, laptop. your or, yeah, whatever. It's, it's so much fun. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So I hope you have a chance to consider this. Let it rest with you. $5,000 level still for just a minute as we watch the next video. And this yeah. might be the one. I'm not sure. I think this is the I one think, where I, I have the two young men. I think this is. Yeah. Right. The zoologist. Let's see. Please. My name is Benjamin, and this this camp is just the best ever. Okay. How old are you, Ben? I am 10 years old right now. And soon I hope I might even be a zoologist when I grow up and help um, help the animals with their habitat and keep them healthy. Oh God, I love it. You're, set, you're planting the seed of, of uh, future past. He wants to be a zoologist. He's a zoologist. Like, yeah, uh, He's ten. You gotta uh, love it. I oh, do. definitely. I do. All right, so we're still looking for our first $5,000 donation. I'm counting on somebody to show up tonight. And I will dance a jig. God knows what it'll look like <laughs> uh, when we see that pop up on our... We've got a screen down here where we can track these things. So let's go on and move on now to the $2,500 level. The $2,500 donations will help us to make sure that we're doing restoration on our trails so that they are safe and make it easy for everybody in our community to come out and enjoy Columbia Springs site. Mm -hmm. An investment of $2,500 means that we can continue to offer guided walks and family nature days throughout Columbia Springs. And on point, before we roll the video, right. accessibility has been very important, I oh, know, God, to Kat yeah. and crew. And having accessibility for students who wouldn't otherwise necessarily be able mm -hmm. to see and experience this, yeah. this is a unique opportunity yeah. and this is how we create that. And, and it really is. That. With the, with the trails, you know, I remember a couple of years ago when we had a big windstorm, and mm -hmm. there were a number of trees that had come down, and there's some mm -hmm. raised sections of the trails to make it easy for folks, for accessibility, mm -hmm. for folks to get around the site. Um, and mm -hmm. so, you know, repairs are an ongoing nature of the beast. So $2,500 will help us to make sure that the site stays in wonderful shape for kids of all ages, and families yes. to come out and join us. So let's, what's this video? This video should be a lot of fun. Oh, this is about building, I think. I think they're building a bug house. Is well, that something like that? Yeah. This is our escape tunnel. And then it leads over. And then when this tunnel leads over here to this crack, either of these cracks. Yes. And then and it leads to the slide. slide. There's a slide area right here. Slide area. Into it goes into our base. It goes into our base. And then they can, since it's like see-through, they can just leave at any time. Yes, uh, you can climb out of it since it's open concept. Uh, yep. You can get, you can have a natural shower with rain. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, very nice. Very nice. Um, yes. This is a ladder it's she a, made for some it's reason. Totally a ladder. It's okay. <laughs> it's a ladder with a vine on it. I have a fun story. Um, Last year, uh, if you go back up there, you'll see this huge uh, log fort. Um, me and two of my other friends actually built that fort. Really? That's cool. I love the log fort. Yeah, I love that fort. I think we have a future architect there. I, I do believe we do. Building a bug house with an open concept. You gotta love it. Oh, Only God, yeah. in nature can kids jump on a concept oh, God, like that yeah. and build it with their own hands. And I, I think I think I heard forts mentioned in there somewhere. So yeah. And I don't know about you, but you know, growing up in the country, it's like you got lots of places where you can go and build. Mm -hmm. And that's what Columbia Springs offers to kids. Think about it. How many kids do you know that? live around Vancouver that may not have ever had the chance mm -hmm. to go and experience nature. Slog around in the mud and get a little bit dirty and, and oh, yeah. hold on to plants and, and go maybe touch a frog and a, yeah. chase down a salamander. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fun. Okay. Well, this brings us to the next level, which is going to be the $1,000 level, and that fuels an experience uh, of repair Clark County. Now, that 
program you heard about just a few minutes ago uh, and the good work that it does. If you have an item that you want to repair rather than throw into the uh, waste stream, it can be fixed. I mean, it's anything that isn't a combustion engine, uh, although we do sharpen lawnmower blades, I do know that, but all sorts of things that you would say, that's broken and I'm going to have to get rid of it, there they can be repaired and we can help you do it. Columbia Springs has a program that'll take take perfect care of it. And they've really refined it. I've noticed through COVID, it's mm -hmm. a COVID safe drop off mm -hmm. and pick up practice. So yes. keep that in mind. And if you can, uh, it's, it's one of those that uh, you yeah. need to learn a little bit God, more about, God, I guess. Yeah. And at the $1,000 level, I love it. Board member Heidi Johnson Bixby hey. has donated at the $1,000 level. Thank you, Heidi. This is oh, our God. almost 20 year yeah. board member. God, yeah. She's yes, been thank on the you, board Heidi. almost 20 years. It's phenomenal. And I know when Maureen was there, she provided oh. ongoing leadership um, through the board as well as I'm sure she's bending cat's ear. Um, and thank you, Heidi. It's your leadership and your support has been phenomenal throughout. And I see we have another $1,000 bid come in from New Traditions Homes. Thank you guys for your support of Columbia Springs. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, New Tradition, been around the community for a number of years, and it's really wonderful to see their support of Columbia Springs. Yes, it is. Definitely. Yes, it is. So, all right. Let's see. I think we've got another video. Another video. So while you're teeing up your donations, let's go to this next video. What do you call uh, what do you call a body with only legs? A table. What's the corniest nature joke around? Uh, I think. Oh, I know. A corn joke. Wow, that's actually pretty corny. <laughs> what do you call an alligator with a vest? Not that big. An investigator. Uh. <laughs> I, love, I love that last one, man. What do you call uh, an owl? Oh, investigator. An investigator. God, you got to love it. It's, I love kids, and I just love their humor. It's it's like dad jokes, but we won't go there tonight. Yeah, no, let's, yeah it's not kids. here. That's no, it's, it's kid jokes, and that's the wonderful thing about it. So with Columbia Springs, you know, we're going to the next level, and we'll keep an eye out for other donations as we're progressing down through the levels. But now we're at the $500 level. And at $500, it helps kids learn at one of our hands-on experiential summer camps that I was talking about mm -hmm. with Kat earlier. And they've always been popular, but this summer, because of COVID, they were even more popular. And so $500 is going to help support the summer camp. It also means that kids can experience Columbia Springs through in-class programs like your favorite one, Salmon in the Classroom. Salmon in the Classroom. Yes. So your $500 donation is going to make a difference. Um, and we've got our first one. We've got from Sarah Edmonds, who is actually Kat's sister. Whoop, whoop. All yeah. right. Very cool. <laughs> Who's done a Thank $500 you, paddle raise. And... Um, and let's see, who else is Gayla doing Gayla Miller. There you are. You're on the board at $500. Thank you, Gayla. That's oh, wonderful. Thank you. Outstanding. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, wait. We've got another one coming They're coming up. in, Paul. Who have we got? We've got Commissioner Nancy Barnes. There she is. Who Clark is Public also Clark Public Utilities. Utilities. And she is also a board member yes, at Columbia Springs. Oh, and look at that. It's amazing what you can do with you technology. Just, you just did I that. Just, Paul Montague just see how donated easy it $500. Is? I just donated $500 Thank right you, here on my phone. Make so, it look easy. So it's Oh, it is. It's so easy. All it's a matter of doing is just finding the paddle raise amount that you want to support and making the donation. Well, while the next group of people are interested in making a donation, I think we have a little video. And I do think this is the cute the one that touched me a little bit more. Yeah. So we have one more video for oh, your enjoyment. And actually, before we jump into that one, mm -hmm. one of the things that I've forgotten to mention tonight yes. is think about all of the volunteers who mm. support Columbia Springs. Yes, I don't know the numbers, but it's something that 
you know, when I, I we're looking for everybody for their financial support tonight, mm -hmm. but also it's something that I think we definitely want to mention all of the volunteers yeah. who give of their time mm -hmm. and frankly their talent to support Columbia Springs. And I want to make it a point to thank them as well. And oh, look at this. While I've been doing that, We've got another donation. We do have another donation. Who is it, Paul? It is Jeff and Lena Whitler. There Thank we go. Thank you very much for your support of Thank Columbia you guys. Springs. All right. Now I guess we can go to video. Now we can roll. Right. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. How did you guys enjoy the ivy pulling? Great. Great. Oh, but he also say, I come to volunteer events for the snacks. There must always be snacks at volunteer events. That's a golden rule. <laughs> yes, I agree. I work for food. <laughs> we'll, a sign, we'll work for food. I work for food, too. I do, too. Yes. Gladly. <laughs> hey, we're going to take you to the very next level at $100. And I do want to say to our donors so far, thank you so much for your support. Yes. Uh, the $100 level helps inspire the outdoor education of our fifth graders. And as you heard earlier, we, we ex uh, give that experience to Vancouver and Evergreen School District fifth graders when they're doing their salmon unit. Uh, they come out and they do field trips with us, and they're often the first time that a student has a chance to actually be in nature and be right there where they can experience it one-on-one, -on -one. and it often plants the seed. Uh, of a lifelong interest yes. in being in the environment or being in the sciences and they make that nexus and they can develop that passion. That's what this is yes. about. That's why we invite them to be on our properties. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it is. That, it's when you get down to it, this is what it's all about. It's about how do we educate our kids, how do we introduce them to nature, and how do we get them to appreciate what mm -hmm. nature has to offer. Yes, and we have our first Donor at the 100 le level, a good friend, Patty Boyden. Thank you, Patty, for your support. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so Patty. Much. And then, and Patty from the port, and then also Eric LeBrant from the port of Vancouver. Yeah, so both the is, port is stepping up. And they are. Oh, and there's Jack Burton. Jack, Jack thank you so much. It's wonderful. Thank you so very much. And actually, Jack, thank you. Just and actually, Jack, Eric, and Patty, thank you for all you do for our community. Thank yes. you. Yes. And then let's see. I see. Meg Johnson. All Megan, right. thank you so much thank for your you support. Very much, Coming Meg. in at a hundred dollars. Oh god, yes. This is a this is a popular this is a popular level. Oh, and actually a good friend of mine, Kim Capoloto, who it's uh, Kim and Lisa have just been phenomenal supporters of our community. Thank you very much, Kim and Lisa. I, Kim, I miss seeing you around, man. Yeah. Uh, well And actually, yeah. I, do we have a video coming yet? I think we do. Wait, oh, but we've still got somebody else coming up. Who have we got? Lynn Kenny. Thank you very much for your $100 donation. Thank you, Lynn. And, you know, one of the things, I look forward to when this is live, because you just get to walk around and you get to thank everybody. And, yes. and it's just so much fun. So, yeah. Lynn, thank you so very much. All right. So, and, and I don't know. Oh, I see another one coming through. Meredith. Lynch. Meredith, Meredith, thank you for your donation thank this you evening as well. Oh, I love it when we get going like this. All right, let's keep it rolling. And yeah. she's a board member at Columbia Springs. Oh, she is. Yes. Excellent. Thank, thank you, you, Meredith. And Meredith, thank you in addition for your time and your talent. Okay, well, let's go to the video while we've got some more let's rolling, do that, Paul. shall we? Hold on, I gotta fix this. My hair is like doing a thing, it keeps getting in my face. There's like a weird swirl right here. There. Stop. There. Better? My favorite Columbia Springs memory. I think I think that one too. <laughs> yeah. I don't have memories. I'm old and senile. There's a bird in that tree. It's very big. That's right, shiny objects. It's focus. It's not why we're here. Okay. Oh, you oh, got 
gotta love it. Blooper reels are always fun. That, aren't they? That's the true Columbia Springs oh. right there. Oh, amen. And I see that we have another uh, one hundred dollars yes. Sally Fisher. You're on the board. Very Thank cool. you again so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. very much, Sally. Really appreciate it. Okay, so oh wait, and here we go. Is at the. $50 level, actually, uh, Allison Kenny, and who is a board member on Columbia Thank Springs. Thank you, Allison. And actually, with Columbia, with the $50 level, it's this is the opportunity to give. And the thing I've learned is when you're at the $50 level, you can do it more than once if you'd like. And oh. there's no reason to you just stop keep doing it. it. You can just keep doing it. Oh, you know, that's it's like, easy. Okay, it's like donate 50. Okay, there we go. Donate 50. And... <laughs> Boom. I'm, you know, Marine's going to kill me when I get home. But you're yes. having fun. But I'm having fun, and I'm supporting a wonderful cause. There it is so, right there. Oh, Paul wait, Montague, God, you just showed up. Damn, that was quick. Only a couple seconds of so, delay there. Right. That's wonderful. Now, the other thing that I would say um, is there is also on the app, and your phone and the website. Oh, look, and we've got another $50 gift. Emily Ann Wilson. Very cool. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Emily Ann. Is there is on the phone a paddle raise of your choice. You can give a gift at any level that you feel like giving. That's a good option. And that's something that is really wonderful um, that we have as an opportunity for folks watching tonight. So please continue to give. Oh, and there's another $50 gift. Oh, oh wait. No, wait a second. So we've got a $50 gift from Aaron Rash. And, and what's we, that about, what's Paul? That about? I think I know. Okay. Maybe I can help the other listeners understand what that's about. All right. What's going on with that, Doug? So what we have tonight is a special opportunity, first time ever opportunity. It's a mystery item raffle. We're not going to disclose it, but it's only a $50 for each time that you choose to buy a raffle ticket. And Paul, I understand that the item is more than $50 by a long shot. I think I've heard something like at least you can add a zero and maybe even multiples of that. Multi I've heard that yeah, same something thing. Like that. It's so, a significant item. It, that there it's, it's, is, definitely it's a, a mystery. It's a, it's a better value than just $50. 50. So, so you can make a couple runs at it. You can make several runs at it. And again, know that as a mystery raffle, it's a great yeah. opportunity to continue your support of Columbia Springs and the amazing work that they're doing. Yeah. Now, those raffles can be purchased right through Wednesday at noon. Then you can tune in to the Columbia Springs uh, Facebook page and you can find out if you're the big winner. I hope that you are the winner. I really do. Well, actually, I, that's, I'm going to keep, I'm on, I'm gonna keep entering you're raffle gonna, prizes you're on gonna that keep as working well. It. But here's the thing. is, is uh, It really is continue to enter in the raffle. Um, and every time you do a $50 bid on the raffle item, it's going to go into the into the bucket. And so we've got, and speaking of mystery raffle, we've got, I think we mentioned Allison Kinney. Um, mm -hmm. Also, actually, no, this was in addition to her regular panel raise. She's doing a mystery raffle. Um, and there we then go. we've got Kim Hash. Um, I love Kim. She is phenomenal with uh, Cher. Um, and she's doing a $50 panel raise. Thank you, Kim. And then, uh, $50 uh, from Kathleen Lockwood as there a we go. paddle race. And I see Gayla Millers jumped in on her first mystery raffle Very ticket. Cool. So we have That's people that are, are, you're picking up how this game yeah. gets played, and you should jump in and let it go and have some fun with it tonight. Yeah. we got mystery raffles. You can go back and pick up any level later on that you yeah. want. You just enter that number and yes. make your choice. Yeah, and even there's still the, I'll just say, the $5,000 level is still open if still anybody wants to bid there. There you go. So all of these items will continue through noon tomorrow, noon Sunday. Um, so they're all available until noon tomorrow or noon, well, tomorrow Sunday. Um, and then um, some of them will continue through noon on Wednesday. Um, and so just look at your particular auction items to see when that item closes and make sure you get your last bid in. Um, and then one last, uh, we've got a $100 donation from Deborah Musser, who's a board member's wife. Thank you, Deborah. And I think... 
you know, one thing, if you don't want to have to check back on Sunday or by next Wednesday, oh, that's true. what do you do? I, I think there's some options for those who want it. There is. Don't you just hit a button that says, buy it now? There is. There's a wonderful button that's that says, it. buy now. And so you can always do that, and that way you make sure that you've got the item that you want. And you can begin planning your trip or picking up your item yeah. and all, all those yeah. fun things. So, so um, I believe that brings that does. our piece tonight to a close. Yeah, and I want to thank our donors, you out there. Yes. Uh, supporting. I'm still seeing names coming through. Mm -hmm. I see Kim Hash jumping on the mystery raffle. I see Lisa Farley just got on board with the mystery raffle as well. Thank so you, Lisa. We're having, Thank you, Kim. You all are out there still having fun. I hope you're enjoying your dinners this evening. Yes. Uh, and thank you for your continued and ongoing support. Oh, this is wonderful. Danielle and Brad Womble, mystery there, raffle. There Very cool. Are. Thank you, They're guys. In. You're in. You're, you're in the in. raffle. Yes. And now so, you, you can, they have until Wednesday noon so to Wednesday continue. So Wednesday noon to, for the mystery raffle, yes. Yeah, perfect. All right. So um, really, um, thank you. As, as Doug said, thank you very much to all of our sponsors who have supported tonight's event. And thank you to all who continue to support Columbia Springs throughout the year. And thank you to our volunteers. And Doug... It's another year. It has been a blast co-emceeing yeah. with you. Yes. Thank you for Th being with us tonight. And likewise, our third year together doing a, a second doing it virtually. Yes. Thank you, Paul Montague. You've well, been a, a, a gentleman and a welcoming member of uh, this entourage at Columbia Springs, well, uh, taking good care of it. It is my pleasure and my honor. Thank you, Doug. All right. So hey, I want to... Before you go, oh. Trevor... Trevor Thomas, you're on oh, the wow. boards. All right, Trevor, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, and then Meredith Lynch, thank yeah. you very much again for another shot at the mystery raffle. Gosh, keeps and, going. Oh, wait, Heidi Johnson Bixby, mystery raffle. There thank we go. Thank you, Heidi. I really appreciate it. Got to love it when these come in. But we could probably keep doing this all evening. Oh, all night. So, um, but... Again, Doug, thank you very much. Um, let's go on and I uh, want to thank everybody. Let's bring Kat back up to help in the evening. And so, good evening. And Kat, thank Hi. you very much. It's good to be here. All right. <laughs> thank you very much for being here for my second Ever Hooked. I've not, yes. ever, you know, I've never seen it live in person, so it's fun to have you here virtually again. Well, we look forward to hopefully next year. Next year. Yeah. I agree. It'll be really fun. Yes. Um, on that mystery raffle, I just want to point out that we are going to be dropping little hints in our social media over the course of the next couple of dates. In case you're curious about what it is and you want to see All right. about investing that $50 chance, it's definitely worth so it. So Facebook? Facebook, Instagram. Okay, uh, Facebook and Instagram. All right, very cool. You'll see. It's it's definitely worth it. Okay. I'm, I might put a couple of okay, cool. tickets in there myself. Well, uh, <laughs> let's, let's wrap it up. All right. All right. Well, I just, I want to say, you know, being in a part of Columbia Springs is so much more than our programming, and, and it's about really taking that piece of nature home with you and, and holding it so that you can, you know, keep enjoying it as a lifelong level of learning. Yes. And I just, I'm so grateful to all of you and to you and Doug for being a part of this. And I'm very grateful that we've gotten to do this tonight. You know, thank you. It is a pleasure. And um, thank you for all of your leadership at Columbia Springs. And thank you all for joining us tonight. And I look forward to seeing everybody next year, hopefully in person. So everybody have a wonderful evening. If you haven't finished your meal, enjoy that. And thank you again. Good night. We'll see you all on site. Night.